to our ancestors, the ability to travel at high speeds, speak across vast distances, or learn from glowing screens would seem like magic. But today, we do all this easily, thanks to electricity. We've grown so used to it, it's worth asking. What is this mysterious power, and where does it come from? Throughout human history, scientists explored the mysteries of electromagnetism. Each experiment taught them a little more about this strange phenomena. They gradually came to understand it as one of the basic forces in the universe. It governs light, magnets, and electricity. How are these related? Let's take a closer look. Even closer. The particles that compose atoms carry different electromagnetic charges. The protons in the nucleus are positive, while the surrounding electrons are negative. Different charges attract each other, but the same push each other away, powerfully. Electrons seek to balance the charges around them. As charges build up, they can even leap from atom to atom through different materials to even out positive and negative charges. Electrons also respond to magnetic fields and vice versa. Scientists discovered that by spinning a magnet inside the coil of a wire, they were able to push electrons through the metal in a steady stream. A stream of flowing electrons is known as electricity. Thus, the electric generator was invented. Spinning a magnet takes energy, so it takes energy to make electricity. In fact, today, most of our energy resources are used to power electric generators. Many generators harness kinetic energy from a variety of sources to keep magnets spinning. As more uses for electricity were discovered, generators became more common. Wires reached farther and farther, pushing electrons into factories and homes, forever changing the way we live. Light bulbs glow because electrons streaming through the filaments make them red hot. Radiators use this effect to create warmth. Generators also work in reverse. Electricity flowing through a wire coil produces a magnetic field. This is used to make electromagnets, which can force other magnets to move. This is what powers the electric motors found in everything from toys to trains. Speakers produce sound as electrons move a magnet attached to a small drum. Since the mid-1800s, we figured out how to use electromagnetic signals to send and store information. Electrons in phone lines, light in radio waves, and magnets on a hard drive. What began as a single spinning magnet has revolutionized our world. While electromagnetism is no longer a mystery, we shouldn't lose sight of the magic it gives us.